And welcome back to Daily Wrap. Let's read some of your viewer comments. They're all about last night's debate. No surprise there at all. Sandy says, and we quote, Ben Carson was a, quote, left-wing Democrat in the past, his own words, but the only one being questioned about his past as a Democrat is Trump. A young Carson also stabbed a teenage friend in the stomach and attacked his mother with a hammer. Everyone is focused on Trump calling a few women names in his past, but not a peep about this former violent past of Carson. Why? I'll tell you why, Sandy. Because Ben Carson learned from that experience, pulled himself up out of poverty, had an illiterate mother, and then became one of the great surgeons of our generation, if not ever. So before we start saying, yeah, he stabbed somebody when he was 13 years old, why don't we look at the end result and say, that is an American success story. Please, get over yourself. I think he put that very well. I would also add that that mother of his also had all of her kids do book reports every week on a new book. That's right. You were saying that last so, night. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, by the way, Sandy, keep watching. We really like it, and we really... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got mad. Yeah. I, I, I just kind of got passionate about that. That's all. So. Kathy says, you keep building up Trump. We need a president who has served our country in the military. We don't need someone who sits behind a desk and gives out orders. That's why we are in a mess. You were doing so well, Sandy. I vote Mike Huckabee. What was that? Well, well, she was going great. I'm going, this is interesting. We're getting comments that are not all pro-Trump. And then she says, I vote Mike Huckabee, which to me is as crazy as Trump. Sorry. Considering he has none of the qualifications that she just... Uh, right. That's, that's How does it square true. with what she's looking for? Very good point. He doesn't we even have a desk. in the military. He has, yeah. Yep. And no service and no point. desk. <laughs> And the trashing of our viewers continues. Patty says, <laughs> it's nice that CNN turned the GOP on each other. It's shameful. Fiorina is in love with Fiorina. You guys are sucked in by a failure. Sad to say. Gee, I hope when I'm a failure, I become a CEO of a company one day. I've already been there. It's not everything it's cracked up to be. Uh. Alex says, Trump was, <laughs> was as active as usual. Carson was as sleepy as usual. Fiorina was a bit more lively. Trump remains at the top of the pack. Well, you got it right. Okay, and Neil says, love your coverage of the debate. However, every time you consult Michael Reagan, he makes comments that clearly represent what I feel middle America is sick and tired of. I see him bashing everyone who isn't a career politician and essentially praising those who are. I guess we could always get Ron Reagan on well, the that, show. Yeah, that's kind of an, <laughs> it's an interesting comment because I was watching. I've known Michael for many, many years. Who and don't the only you know? person, well, you know, I'm old. Uh, <laughs> the only person that he, I saw him bashing was Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see him bashing the other. Which goes right to what the the what, what like, the comment was but, saying. Well, the com commenter was saying everybody who was not. No, but what they tapped into yeah. is when you're an angry person, people start to see you as angry even when you're that not. That could be. Kitty says the Donald is very clear on what he will do when he becomes president. Really, it's a good strategy to keep people reminded of his plans. Carly is like a student studying for a college exam, studying real hard. Okay. Okay. And if she's studying real hard, I'll give her an A right about now because the, she knocked it out of the park pretty much with every answer. Anyway, Buckshot Blake says, I, I always wanted a nickname I like, like that. that. Way to go. Interesting. Interesting. Carly did well, and I still like Trump. Bush, eh, go home. Jeb looked like a wuss. His posture is lacking confidence. It's true. He does kind of the shoulder thing just like W does. He looks like he whines a bit more than we need. Yet yeah, sometimes I those think, optics do come across. He I does do the Buckshot, shoulder thing. Buckshot there is speaking for a lot of people. Finally tonight, Clayton says, the only thing missing from the CNN debate was the late night comedian as the commentator. A late night comedian as the commentator. What a joke. Clayton did not like the debate. Apparently folks. not. You know what's interesting though? Nobody, com nobody we see here commented on the length. I think the big story of last I night so too. was going three hours. It's never been done before right. in, mm -hmm. a, in, a, in a, any presidential debate. I don't know. You know, I think it was really good for CNN. Yeah. I get yeah. that. Yeah. I do. I think it was incredibly unfair to the people up on that stage. Particularly I mean, if you're wearing heels. Yeah. I mean, it's not it's my so nature to be you. sympathetic to the Republicans, but I felt That's bad true. for them. That is rough. Three hours in those hot lights. We do it an hour a night. Oh, no. And it's oh, it, Jonathan's going to give the, oh, you think that's rough? Go to a rock <laughs> sometime. <laughs> No, going to Bajra yeah. after midnight, when and you'll through, see. When I was going through SEAL training, we would go through Hell Week, where we got to get up Sunday. We don't go back to sleep till Friday. They're three hours, you can't handle they that. They were not going through SEAL training. Yeah, they but they're going 
to be your commander in chief. I want to see somebody who's going to feel the pain power. a little bit. Okay, time for a little media lesson. <laughs> All right, the three hours was too long. Yeah, it wasn't it like was. it was scheduled that way in the first place. Uh, somebody who runs that network decided, you know what? We could sell this Boy, time. the advertising yeah. really is coming in nicely. Uh, yeah. Why don't we add another hour? So right. if you're wearing heels last night or even work shoes, boy, it sucked. It let's let's it. face it. And it for the tough. public, it's a long time to uh, well, watch, even if you that's care. That's I didn't get in. I think that they definitely did not serve we the viewers. It, At three all. hours, and we do this we for We love this stuff and we start to feel long. we love this stuff. Right. And it Just actually wasn't three hours because we were all watching the, the kids debate. It was four hours. That's right. Folks, why not take all the candidates, divide it into two debates of two hours, let everybody interact with everybody, forget the kids' table. We can deal with that. Yep. Titanic uh, is three hours and uh, two minutes. Gone with the Wind, three hours and 46 minutes. Last night's CNN debate, three hours and 17 minutes, and I have to go on that. Anyway, remember, if you want to weigh in on any of the issues we talk about here in the show, go to Newsmax.com slash comments and let us know. Up next, time for yay or nay.